So before soldiers in the US Army can be assigned to the 75th Ranger Regiment as permanent personnel, they have to go through something called RASP. RASP stands for Ranger Assessment and Selection Program, and it's a grueling eight-week program that takes soldiers from basically trained in combat to special operating forces soldiers. Now, in order to even start RASP, you have to pass a bunch of different medical tests, psychological tests, but you also have to pass a physical test. And this pre-RASP physical fitness test is what we're gonna try today. The test consists of five events. First event being push-ups, you have to execute at least 53 push-ups in two minutes. The second event is sit-ups, you have to do 63 sit-ups in two minutes. The third event is a two mile run in 14 minutes and 30 seconds or less. And the fifth event is at minimum, you have to do four pull-ups. And the sixth event is a six mile ruck march in one and a half hours or less. And it's with a 35 pound pack plus a weapon. Now Marines pride themselves on being combat fit and always ready. Today we're, we're gonna have a couple Marines out here doing this test with me. And we're gonna see how well we can do at this pre-screening fitness test for the Army Rangers. A lot of these Marines had less than a week to prepare. They, they saw my post and I hit them up and I sent them all the events. So um, a lot of these guys are going into this with little to no preparation other than their general level of fitness that they maintain throughout the year. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I like to do fitness challenges. I like to try out different things to challenge myself. And uh, I use these challenges to kind of see what my weak points are. And I, I know, I know for a fact that I'm not gonna pass the run today. And I'm really, really uh, unsure about sit-ups at this point. Uh, the other events I feel pretty confident about. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be good to go. But I have enough humility to, to know that it's, it's not gonna be a, a passing with flying colors kind of day. All right, so event number one is gonna be push-ups. We have two minutes to do as many push-ups as possible. We're gonna follow Marine Corps rules, which is your upper arms have to be parallel with the deck. Nothing but your feet and your hands can touch the ground. Resting position is going to be a front-leaning rest position, so you can't drop your hips or raise your hips up to rest. Um, maximum effort for two minutes, and uh, bare minimum is 53, so we're gonna see how we do. Ready, begin. All right, so everyone passed. Everyone got at least 53 push-ups, but we know that we gotta work on it in order to get closer to the max. Um, recommendations when you're going to RASP are 80 plus. Um, so it's definitely something that, I mean, none of us are heading to the Ranger Regiment anytime soon, but uh, definitely need to work on it. So now we get about a five minute break and then we're gonna go right into sit-ups. All right, so event number two is sit-ups. Um, some of the rules for these sit-ups is shoulder blades have to touch the ground. Fingers have to remain interlocked behind your head, um, and your head has to come up to be above your hips or beyond. So I'm gonna have someone hold my feet. We'll knock, uh, knock these out as many as you can in two minutes. The minimum amount to get into the rasp is 63 in two minutes. So um, this is one of the events where I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna make it, but I'm gonna do my best and give it my all, and we'll see how it goes. Three, two, one, begin.
so we just finished the run. We're on to event number four, which is pull-ups. So the rules for this is you start in a dead hang and you pull up to your chins above the bar and then you come back down to a dead hang and that's one repetition. Um, very, very similar to the Marine Corps um, rules for pull-ups. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out. Minimum is four reps. Um, and we're just gonna do a max set. There's no timer for this one. Oh God, it's so tall. There we go. All right. Got 18. That's a lot tougher when it's not your first event. All right, so last event, it's gonna be a six mile ruck run or ruck march in uh, an hour and a half or less. So we gotta maintain a 15 minute pace or faster this whole time. I think we're gonna do some sort of uh, walk, run, walk through the whole thing to just kind of try to conserve our energy. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we do. So 35 pound packs. When you're actually going through pre-rasp, you have to carry a weapon with you. Um, I wasn't able to secure any dummy weapons for today, but we will just go with our packs and see how we do. Almost two miles in now. Oh, that lighting is awful. We just hit the halfway point, three mile mark. Ran about a quarter mile after. We're walking, run, walking. We're on pace to make the time. We're gonna have to keep moving pretty quick. So, two and a half miles left. We got one mile left. Still walk, run, walk, keeping a pretty steady pace, trying not to burn ourselves out. We're gonna make it. Last 200 yards. Here we go. And we did it. An hour and 20 and 51 seconds. All right, so as a wrap up, definitely would recommend a lot more preparation if you're planning to go to Ranger Assessment Selection. I didn't pass the sit-ups and I didn't pass the run. Um, those are two weak points for me anyway. So I knew that going in that I wasn't likely going to pass those two. Um, I still gave it my all, still pushed my hardest, all the while trying to pace myself for that six mile hike at the end. Having gone to multiple military schools throughout my career, some tips I can give you are always train to max out. Never train just to the bare minimum because when you get to the schoolhouse, a lot of the times they're more strict with their grading. So if you're training just to meet that bare minimum, you probably won't meet the bare minimum when you get to the actual schoolhouse. Also, you want to have the endurance and the strength to be able to go ab way above and beyond the bare minimum because that shows that you actually care and you actually want to be there. I'd also make sure that you're good at packing your pack in a, in a good way to keep the heavier things higher on your back, closest to your back and everything nice and tight. That's going to help uh, reduce the amount of movement and shaking that's going on in your pack while you move. Take care of your feet, have good footwear, break in your boots before you go on any kind of long distance running uh, with a ruck. And probably the most important tip of going into any kind of program like Army Rangers or Special Operating Forces, Special Forces and whatnot, is don't go into it with a half-ass mentality. Go into it with a never quit attitude, that's gonna take you really far in these programs because they don't want quitters. If you wanna check out some of my other fitness challenge videos, check out this playlist here and let me know what you think.